We are here on the campaign trail with Rajyavardhan Rathor, and they are taking a little break here, right behind me. So here are some nice rural delicacies uh, being offered. Uh, this gentleman here has got some really nice. Uh, आज हमारे कर्नल साहब हमारे क्षेत्र में आए हैं तो उनको छाछ पिला रहे हैं और किस घर की छाछ है बिल्कुल घर की छाछ है साहब हमारे तो किसान हैं किसानों के तो घर में छाछ ही होती है और यहाँ किसानी को नाश्ता पानी हुआ है और जो किसानों के गांव में आया है तो हमारा तो फर्ज बनता है so, it's a really interesting constituency. There are about it's 50-50. There are about 50% rural voters and about 50% city voters. In fact, Jhotwara, I would say, is known more for the people who are fighting it and also for the people who are not fighting this election. So Lal Chand Kataria, who's watching this election from the sidelines, probably is playing a bigger role in it than um, even the main candidates. His sitting out is really significant, politically significant, because remember he was very close to Ashok Gehlot and he there was a cabinet minister but he's decided to take political sannyas. Now what does that mean? We don't know. Um, there is a there is a, a conversation going around here that you know probably there's some kind of a deal with the BJP that he's done. Anyway, as of now, Rajivardhan Rathor fighting this election, one of the seven MPs who's been asked to fight MLA in Rajasthan, apart from him, there are at least there are 19 people who are fighting this election in Jhotwara. Now, this is in fact one of the biggest constituencies uh, in Rajasthan. There are about 4 lakh plus voters. So definitely in the next delimitation, uh, now this, this constituency is going to get divided. But, uh, you know, of the 19 candidates who are in the fray, BJP, Congress, BSP, RLP are the big parties and then of course there are the independents. Uh, so, so there we are just stepping out after a break. Let me ask him, so was that a nice break? Did you enjoy the charge? Every moment is nice. This election is great fun. We are really enjoying it. It's, we are enjoying it like a festival. So. I mean, I mean, Ami has given me that endurance we can carry on for one year like this. I don't mind it. I think you enjoy the rural bits more than the urban bits. No, it's both. Both. The, the best part is that you get to uh, flavor both the sides. So it's great fun. So rural side, of course, is, is amazing. All the greenery, all the open spaces, large open houses. And you know, abundance of chaat, dahi, makkhan and everything. <laughs> yeah. And the love, and of course. Yes. Rural, the urban is also amazingly supporting Prime Minister Modi. The awareness this time in the urban and how vociferous urban is. I've never seen them more vociferous. And especially women. Men keep quiet about it. They may have strong feelings inside. But women are very vociferous, very supportive of Prime Minister Modi, very supportive of Sanatan, very supportive of our Sanskriti. Great. So I think let's be able to talk to some women here also. Bharat uh, Mata Ji! In fact, uh, let's see which way they vote and what they really feel about 33% reservation uh, here uh, in the background, uh, some of these women. Uh, now remember the women vote is a, is a really important vote in Rajasthan. Mata Ji, what do you think about vote in this Bengi? <laughs> Chali. So, jo, jo women voters, then we have Rama Chopra here also. Uh, Rama Ji, is bar 33% reservation ka kuch parak pada aapko lagta hai? Kaafi parak pada hai, gaon mein kaafi utsa hai, kyunki jab sarpanch bante te, sirf jila parche sadha se bante te, ya jila parmuk bante te, ab unko badi kushi ho rie, ki wo vidhan sabha aur log sabha mein 33% ki baage daare mein jayengi. Kya, kya kehna hai aapka ispe, jaysay unho ne bataya? So, so of course, um, 33, you know, the woman voter has specially been targeted uh, with this 33% reservation and women are voting in fact in increasingly large numbers. Now, when we were discussing Kotwara and or we are on the campaign trail which Rajivata now uh, you know the interesting thing about this election is uh, the, there's also one independent who's fighting who was a ticket hopeful from the BJP uh, uh, Surpur, uh, he has not been given a uh, ticket in fact, so he's gone independent. The other person who was an interesting independent was Rajpal Singh Shekhawat, but he decided at the last minute actually to uh, sit back and withdraw. And we've been told that it was Vasudha Raji's insistence uh, that he actually sat back uh, in this election. So, 
it is actually now a straight fight or maybe we can say a triangular fight or maybe a straight fight between the congress and the bjp and um, someone who is on the triangle of that contest is of course surpur he is very determined to fight the selection he's also talked about in the villages when you go out and you talk to people they're definitely talking about him but as far as colonel rajyavardhan singh rathore is concerned he has been mp from this area so it's not like he doesn't know his constituency he knows this constituency he's represented it as an mp in fact a little while back he was saying i gave kabaddi mats to all the villages and had i known that i'm fighting from jhotwara he said laughingly of course it was a joke i would have given more kabaddi mats to this area so what he actually meant to convey was that he did not know that he is going to be asked to fight this mla election he says whatever the party decides and it's a strategy um that you know they've decided to send him in to fight the selection he also talked about how they want to create a leadership uh, a new leadership on the top they want more different faces to come in as mps so actually rajasthan and madhya pradesh also is a very interesting experiment in that sense the mps who are fighting the mla election Uh, looking at it very differently getting down to brass tracks really uh, in this uh, mla election because remember uh, you know when you fight an mp election it's more macro but when you fight an mla election you really have to get down to one to one contact and that's what rajyavardhan rathor is doing we are on the on the campaign trail with him he's gone on ahead but you can see uh, his supporters have stopped to just take a small break uh, and i think they're just taking a short break they're not going ahead um, let me ask some of them kanal saab to ruk gaye lekin aap log aage gaye lekin aap log thoda sa ruk gaye chai pani ke liye lagta hai ji bahut acha maul hai gramin aap log ruk gaye thak gaye kya abhi ruk rahe hain nahi thake nahi hai koi aage koi baitak ka karyakram hai usme baith ke aa rahe hain wo acha 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 wo single baith ke aa rahe hain ha ha तो आपको कैंपेन में क्या अच्छा लगता है क्या खास लगता है और एमएलए का कैंपेन एमपी कैंपेन से अलग कैसे होता है नहीं कैंपेन दोनों ही बढ़िया है एमएलए कैंपेन भी बढ़िया है और एमपी का भी है एमपी का दायरा थोड़ा बड़ा रहता है और एमएलए का कैंपेन जो है थोड़ा छोटा दायरे में रहता है तो उसमें और ही वो रहती है कहने का मतलब लोगों से मिलने का जुड़ने का बात करने का सुविधाएं बताने का ये इसलिए तो वो फर्क है बाकी नेता सो लेट्स आज सम ऑफ दीज पीपल जो ग्रामीण क्षेत्र है उसमें सबसे ज्यादा किसानों की मांग क्या है किसानों की मांग सबसे ज्यादा पानी की मांग है कड़क बांध बनवाने की आप 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 अभी एक बार ही फसल ले पाते हैं या दो बार लेते हैं आपके दो बारी, दो बारी। दो आपके मतलब पिलाई है सीचत, सीचत है आपका आ, आ, सीचत है। और दो, दोनों बारी पिलाई पिलाई शिपिंग ये फसल होती है और पार कालक बांध बनवाना चाहते हैं हम तो ये हमारी मंशा है जी और क्या है इस चुनाव में क्या मुद्दे है किसानों के लिए खूब आराम जता वाला माड़ा को जता खूब जता वाला और काम भी करे लो पिछली बार तो लालचंद कटारिया जी लड़े थे यहाँ से इस बार नहीं लड़ रहे अब कब को लड़ियो अब कल तो आई का दवा पड़ गो कोई दवा पड़ गो लालचंद जी का कढ़ाई को ले रही हो so like we were saying the people who are not fighting this election are probably as important as the people who are fighting this election and the fact that lalchand kataria is not fighting this election is is equally significant because remember his votes are probably going to transfer to the bjp in fact a lot of his supporters uh, at the ground rule at the grassroots level have actually shifted to the bjp so there is a talk that perhaps after this election and the fact that he's taken political sanyas just when the gehlot uh, uh, congress led gehlot is going into election he's sitting at home he's not coming out and he's decided to take political sanyas will he come out of this sanyas when the mp election happens because there's a lot of talk about how his sitting out of this election is actually benefiting the bjp but apart from that Uh, you know this this campaign in jhotwara is also interesting because of the kind of both divide so in the morning we had rajyavardhan going out on a bike he was meeting early morning joggers he was in his nike track pants and he was hitting the 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 tracks in in various parks in the in the upmarket vaishali nagar neighborhood and now he's here uh, you know in kurta pajama 
with uh, you know with a um, uh, uh, safa around him a turban around him and uh, around his head and of course sitting here and having charge so that's what he's really enjoyed that's been it's interesting to see this side of uh, the politician you know at home in rural countryside uh, you know at one with the voters connecting with the voters that's been interesting uh, and like we were discussing you see the the fight in uh, jhotwara is uh, between the congress the bjp and of course uh, surpur who is the independent it's also one of the largest constituencies 4 lakh plus voters last time as an mp rajyavardhan rathor won by 3 lakh plus votes uh, from this area where we are now uh, rural jhotwara uh, it was about 1 lakh plus was the was the lead that he took from here now this time it's going to be a closely fought contest of course we're talking about the gehlot government and their narrative of the social welfare schemes versus uh, the double engine uh, government of the bjp you know somewhere what rajyavardhan rathore is also <coughs> promising is the fact that you know if Uh, the bjp comes to power in rajasthan and you have a modi government at the center you will see real work which will be done here on the ground because the implementing authority really uh, is the state government and the state government is the one who actually carries out and implements the schemes so uh, that's how much um, you know so that's how uh, important an mla election is because uh, the mla election uh, gives you uh, that hands on Uh, ability to actually deliver the last mile that has been promised by the party so i think that's the reason why the bjp is very keen to win um in rajasthan of course they are betting on the revolving door of politics but despite that they decided to send in seven mps to fight this election there was a lot of opposition to all those mps who actually went into the field including colonel rajyavardhan rathor because there was opposition from within the party rajpal singh shekhawat um, who uh, wanted to stand against him and withdrew at the last moment there was also opposition from um, Uh, you know uh, the independent uh, surpur who wanted to uh, uh, fight on a bjp ticket and didn't get it uh, so so there has been opposition it's not been easy but it seems to be settling the dust seems to be settling on that uh, tug of war that happens uh, in the run up to nominations until the last day of withdrawal of nominations the dust seems to be settling the campaign is is picking up it will probably pick up more after diwali uh, but you know going into villages uh, talking to people there's a more intimate connection Uh, in a campaign which is an MLA campaign as compared to an uh, 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 MP campaign also a little while back uh, we stopped at a village and he went into the kitchen and you know the women offered him some pakora so it's nice you have a pakora break you have a charge break so that's really what the campaign is like uh, when it's um, in 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 the constituency in uh, when when you're out in the constituency in uh, Uh, in uh, on the ground really now um, uh, you know it's interesting that you know the the branding if you look this is the kind of uh, these are the two kind of parts that they are traveling with uh, they've got it all uh, covered so this uh, plays all their election songs and election speeches and then the car that uh, colonel rajyavardhan rathor is tra traveling in is also uh, similarly uh, coated and camouflaged interestingly it is a modi election somewhere it's prime minister narendra modi versus chief minister ashok gehlot because the bjp is really keen to say that you know this is an election there's no chief ministerial face and in fact everyone says that even colonel rajyavardhan singh rathor is probably one of the chief ministerial hopefuls Do you think Rajyavardhan Rathod is a chief ministerial candidate, or he has the ability to Madam, be a CM? Hindi, Hindi, Hindi. Why not? CM, वो CM बन सकते हैं Rajyavardhan. क्यों नहीं बन सकते मैम? आपको लगता है वो candidate हैं? Hopeful हैं? मतलब एक काबिलियत रखते हैं? बिल्कुल रखते हैं. हम्म. पढ़े लिखे हैं, नौजवान हैं, और इतने अच्छे-अच्छे sports person हैं. हाँ. सारी उनके अंदर काबिलियत हैं. जो एक होनी चाहिए उन. स्पोर्ट्स मैन भी रहे हैं सेना में भी रहे हैं तो चौमू की प्रतिभा के धनी तो हैं लेकिन राजनीति के अंदर चौमू की प्रतिभा के साथ साथ बहुत सारे फैक्टर काम करते हैं अब देखते हैं कि आलाकमान और पार्टी की जो पॉलिसी है उसकी क्या रणनीति रहती है क्योंकि यहाँ पर कास्ट फैक्टर भी काम करता है आ, दूसरे जो पोलिटिकल ग्रुप्स होते हैं जैसे बीजेपी मुझे लगता नहीं कि इस प्रकार की कोई स्थिति है 
लेकिन फिर भी चुनाव के बाद जो रिजल्ट आएगा उस पर डिपेंड करेगा लेकिन ये राजस्थान की राजनीति से अब दूर नहीं रहेंगे मतलब यहाँ पे रह के काम करेंगे अगर जीत जाएंगे आ, बिल्कुल निश्चित तौर पर पहले तो एम थे राष्ट्रीय स्पोक्स पर्सन भी थे नेशनल लेवल पे काम कर रहे थे बिल्कुल निश्चित तौर पर अब राजस्थान की राजनीति में इनका बहुत बड़ी भूमिका रहेगी भविष्य में और राजस्थान पूरा निश्चित तौर पर इस प्रकार के लीडर को भविष्य के रूप में देख रहा है कि जो राजस्थान को लीड करे भारत के अंदर आई थिंक दैट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट दैट एक्चुअली दे प्रिपेयरिंग अ न्यू काइंड ऑफ लीडरशिप वन लास्ट फ्रॉम दिस यंग मैन हियर आपको क्या लगता है यूथ क्या चाहता है चुनाव में और आप कर्नल राज्यवर्धन सिंह के साथ क्यों जुड़े हो हम इसलिए जुड़े हुए हैं क्योंकि यूथ ये चाहता है कि ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा विकास हो युवाओं के लिए अभी सर खेल मंत्री थे तब इन्होंने यहाँ पे सत्रह स्टेडियम बनाए पूरे जो जो इनके इनके अंडर में आठ विधानसभा क्षेत्र आते हैं सब में एक एक कबड्डी वो कबड्डी का जो मैट आता है वो सात आठ लाख रुपए कीमत का आता है हर हर विधानसभा क्षेत्र में एक एक इन्होंने मैट दिया है और हम चाहते हैं कि ये ऐसे ही इसी प्रकार से जब ये आएंगे हमारे जोटौड़ा विधानसभा में तो प्रत्येक व्यक्ति के ऊपर ये ध्यान देंगे और ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा यहाँ पर विकास कार्य होगा so there are 22 lakh youth voters in rajasthan first time voters and somewhere the idea of creating a young new leadership is also to create a new line of leadership especially in crucial hindi heartland states like rajasthan so on the campaign trail with colonel rajyavardhan rathore this is harsha kumari singh signing off for ndtv